This is BBC News, I'm Martine Croxall. The headlines at eight. Living with COVID, the Prime Minister sets out his plan for England, scrapping the legal requirement to self-isolate from Thursday. This virus is not going away, but it is the day when all the efforts of the last two years finally enabled us to protect ourselves whilst restoring our liberties in full. Free universal testing will be scrapped from April the 1st, even if you have symptoms. The Labour leader says it's a mistake. Free tests can't continue forever, but if you're two one up with if you're if you're two one up with ten minutes to go, you don't sub off one of your best defenders. In other news, President Putin announces he's recognising two breakaway republics within Ukraine as independent. Third named storm in a week, Franklin batters parts of the UK with floods, heavy rain and strong winds. Tributes are paid after the death of Jamal Edwards, the musical entrepreneur who helped launch the careers of artists such as Dave and Ed Sheeran. Good evening and welcome to BBC News. The Prime Minister has announced that all coronavirus restrictions will be lifted in England, hailing what he called a move from government restrictions to personal responsibility. As part of the plans to live with COVID, the legal requirement to self-isolate will be lifted by Thursday. But people will still be encouraged to stay at home if they test positive until the 1st of April. Well, the universal testing programme will also end from April the 1st, even for people with symptoms. Instead, free testing will be available only to the most vulnerable. And an additional booster dose will be offered to all over 75s and the most vulnerable over 12s from the spring, six months after their last jab. We'll be discussing the announcements in detail throughout this hour. But first, let's hear what the Prime Minister told a news conference in Downing Street in the past hour. <laughs> 